Hey Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer Signs. Let's start this reading by pulling some cards out from this deck. Later on, we're going to be checking in with Tarot to see who and what you might be dealing with for this week. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, and for cost watchers, the energies here can also be vice versa. It all depends on your situation, okay, my dear? All right, so with that said, let's start. Let's see what are the energies playing out for you guys for this week. All right, so the overall theme we have here, regeneration. This card, to me, talks about the need to really recover from something that felt toxic, okay? Either you were in a toxic situation or the feeling that you received from that situation turned out to be definitely overwhelming, energetically blocking you, and already a sense of entrapment. So therefore, toxic on yourself, okay? So whatever that is, I kind of feel like regeneration soon enough, you will get the energy that you need to deal with this. You will get the energy and clarity to know what is the next course of action, all right? I kind of feel like there's something unfinished or undone here that you still need to work on. So finally, it can have a resolution, resolve, or a sense of closure, right? I kind of feel like you have something that's waiting for you here. Now, recently we have here not for you. Building blocks and why. I kind of feel like someone's asking why you're rejecting them, Cancer. All right, or you could be feeling this way. It, it doesn't feel like someone outright rejected you, though, because it seems like the connection is still in the process of healing here, of undergoing changes, right? It's currently in transition. But it's coming across to you as someone rejected you because they're not giving you the attention. And you could be asking, what is the reason for this person pulling back? Why is this person not giving me um, any attention or time or effort at all? And not to say that that's all what you think of because i feel like cancer this week is extremely busy for you guys i see that you're working on your foundation your career your business for some of you you're definitely preoccupied but at the back of your head on your own quiet moments i kind of feel like you're wondering what this person is up to why did they do things that they do or make you feel a certain type of way and overthinking it is what i feel like is toxic okay not necessarily the situation but the tendency to be so absorbed finding the answers that are not really available yet and you may be thinking that this is already an outright rejection i kind of feel like that's what you need to heal from your tendency to overthink cancer all right let's see what that is all about and how that ties with the rest of your reading and again if this is not your energy then this could be the person you're dealing with okay This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who and what they're dealing with for this week, please, Spirit. I don't feel like you're communicating well with this person. There's minimal communication. Or you're not asking the right questions here, Cancer. This is something you're avoid to ask. Avoiding asking this person. Because maybe some of you guys are trying to avoid rejection as well. Yeah, but you are worried about this because you feel like because they're not giving you the attention that it's already an outright rejection. So I kind of feel like this week is all about calming your mind here. Trying to filter this fears and anxiety and live in the present moment. Because being anxious about the future, it's not yet happening. You'll never know, right, what's unfolding. So we have here Six of Swords. Yep, releasing the baggage, the emotional baggage. Trying to see the positive in this situation. The way that you look at things will help energetically manifest the outcome. You know what they say in, in respect to divine law of attraction? Your vibe attracts your tribe. What it is that you want to receive and manifest it all starts with you operating in that kind of frequency. So if you look at this in a positive way and you look at this as promising, you look forward to the future, you are already above this. You will see the rainbow. You will see that there's something good here. But if you put yourself down, you start, you know, questioning everything, doubting everything, and relentlessly trying to find some answers, I kind of feel like it's just going to weigh down on you, okay? So don't do that to yourselves, Cancer. Try to stay positive with this, okay? I believe you guys can do this. Um, 
what's currently blocking you guys at the moment or the challenge is three of pentacles if this is someone you see every day in work at work or maybe school for some of you kind of feel like this is interfering with how you're working with this person by that i mean maybe you're starting to distance yourself you you're having all these ideas that you need to distance yourself and it's affecting the work okay because like I said, I kind of feel like you're going to be extremely busy this week and you need to really be fully present. And you being absorbed in this might get you so sidetracked that it's already creating some imbalance in your life. So just be extra cautious about that. Now, the root or cause of this, we have the high priestess. I kind of feel like some of you guys need to listen more to your intuition rather than your fear. I mean, you guys are definitely psychic, very, very gifted. You have a strong perceptive ability as well. But like you said, you being silent about this and all, maybe you tend to overthink things because you're not you're not receiving any clarity at the moment. And so this is all becoming some somewhat a noise in your mind. Okay, so learn to filter those thoughts. Okay. So in the past is the ace of cups. Recently I kind of feel like this is definitely you recognize that there is a potential for this relationship, right? You were open, you were fully engaged and fully invested even though it's it's still in the initial stages you kind of like wanted this person to accept the cup or they may have been the one who offered you that cup all right it looks like there's a strong friendship component here with three of pentacles but you're still in the process of transitioning that friendship to something more all right i kind of feel like someone is getting impatient i don't know if that's you or this is the other person but those feelings of frustration and impatience is what's driving you both not to be able to really focus on building this. Uh, you're already being overwhelmed by all these fears and thoughts and feelings of rejection when things are not yet unfolding here. We have the Three of Pentacles. You need to work hand in hand to figure this out, okay? And communication is key. So what you're focused at the moment or this person is focused on is you. This person has you on their mind a lot, like you said. Both of you could be in your separate corners, even though distant, even though not communicating really smoothly here, you're definitely preoccupied about each other and you do recognize that you inspire each other here. It's just that someone wants to move forward from this level, wants to take things to the next level here, okay? So in the near future though, we have the 10 of swords. Um, like I said, it's gonna be something really unhealthy if you overthink about this. The swords represent the mind. It's kind of like, I don't want to say self-sabotage your cancer. I don't feel like, just really guide your thoughts. Get outside your head as much as you can, right? The Ten of Swords can be a result of all this overstress, overthinking, anxiety, um, and in effect affecting your health and everything else. Everything is aligned, okay? So this person could be, like I said, minimally communicating with you, quite feeling distant at the moment, or you might be energetically coming across to this person as you're keeping something. And I feel like this person is sensing that. Hmm. If you're beginning to be distant this week, I kind of feel like this person is going to realize why you're becoming distant. Yeah. Why you're becoming distant all of a sudden. I thought that we have something that we're building here. So are you rejecting me? That's why you're becoming distant. I'm really getting specific messages. I kind of feel like someone is overly assuming this is already a rejection because there's no communication and you're being distant with one another. You're quite mirroring each other's energy, to be honest, right? That's why this solid foundation is not currently being manifested, all right? So I hope this is all making sense with you. In the environment is the star card. Cancer, this person sees you as the star. They see that you're very beautiful, very lovely. You draw and attract people in your life. And you also have high hopes and high aspirations for yourself, which is really good. Um, they see you that you bring so much optimism in this person's life. Okay, but it it's quite has the opposite effect because you both are in this energy of trying to figure out where this will go. Something for sure is making you feel inspired about each other, but... I kind of feel like there's no straightforward communication about where this is heading. That's why um, it kind of feels like you're just going around a circle here, okay? It's kind of like a stop and go momentum. So hopes and fears is the daughter of pentacles. 
um, like I said, this is someone you just met because it feels like you both are coming across as both pages. Um, in the past, maybe there was clear communication, like casual as friends or as colleagues. And maybe you see that this person is in the same wavelength as you are. You have so much things in common and you jo enjoy really each other's friendship and company here. That's something that you already um, recognize with each other here, that there's something to hold on to. Yeah, I kind of feel like as the final outcome this week, some of you guys are just really going to let go of the burden because you really need to get back to a healthier mind, mind space and heart space. Okay, the judgment card can also indicate letting go of any feelings of burden, anxiety, um, a past situation too, so you can finally move forward in a new set of eyes and clarity. Um, no more filled with any low vibrational feelings here or the tendency to hold some secrets. Kind of feel like these two cards indicate either you're being secretive or you feel like your person is being secretive or both of you are seeing each other like that. It's very interesting. Um, I kind of feel like it's a budding romance though. Underneath this, there's kind of like a romantic theme, but it's just that you are not connecting with each other at the moment. There's a disconnect here because both of you are not really revealing each other's feelings. That's why there's a disconnect. Okay. So why is the Six of Swords here? Three of Cups. Yeah, this is someone you see as a dear friend. All right. But you kind of you kind of feel like I don't know you really enjoy each other's company for sure but you kind of feel like a lot of people are trying to get involved a lot of people could be saying their input about your growing relationship that's why the tendency to listen to other people's advice without really knowing the context of your foundation kind of feel like this is just noise here this is just noise uh, be careful of gossips be careful of um, some information that are not really true here learn to filter those news or information that you receive here okay cancer because that might just reinforce some negative outlook, okay? You must spend some time to meditate and really process your own um, insight about this whole thing. Also, someone is oversharing. I don't know if that's you or this person. Someone is oversharing something. So, we have 10 of Pentacles. Um, I kind of feel like the challenge here is to build really something stable. And to learn how to maybe work with each other despite this whole push and pull kind of dynamics that you both have. Because work is, is currently being affected. Yeah, there's this energy of trying to build some walls here. So Cancer, you might be the one trying to build up a wall here because you're afraid of being hurt like you were hurt in the past. Uh, but you also are very much already in love with this person with all the cups here. You really are loving how this person makes you feel. But it also scares the hell out of you for some reason. Um, in the past, yeah, Harfint. You see this person as a marriage potential. Maybe you see this person as also quite mature than you. Either like a spiritual mentor type of relationship where they teach you a lot here. But you're quite intimidated by this because, I don't know, kind of feels like you want to get this off your chest, but you don't know how to. Because this has a very strong personality. Yeah, this could be a boss, someone older than you guys. So, kind of feel like even though to when you both relate to each other, you're coming across as your inner child. But just on the physical 3D, in the context of work or whatever environment you guys have met, it seems like there's something about their precision, their authority. That's affecting this to be quite romantic, okay? This person is thinking about committing to you. Four of Wands. They see as well that they want to commit to you. But there's a disconnect. Yep. I, I kind of feel like in the immediate future, some of you guys are still going to hold back here. You're going to close your heart for a reason. Alright? You may feel as though you need more time to process this. But like I said, if you already feel like external circumstance, people's advice, wrong information, or just noise in your environment see if this is what's affecting you guys from trusting the situation or if this is truly like you don't feel this person is for you because that can also be the case some feelings of rejection we have here the empress and the death card um kind of feel like there has been an ending of how you both communicated okay and like i said your relationship is currently in transition so 
I don't know, Cancer. It feels like you're really the one pulling away here. And right now, you're focused on healing. We have the Star card and the Empress. You are tapping into your inner divine feminine energy. You're putting yourself first, which is really, really good. Um, and hopefully, you can ground your energy so that you will see that all the qualities that you're looking for someone is actually already within you and it's not so hard for people to love you in turn you have to remember that so you won't ever doubt yourself if you're worthy of being loved because i feel like that's the reason why you're energetically always putting some walls up here cancer i know this is not going to resonate for you but kind of feel like this is going to resonate for those of you who always hold back when a new potential lover comes in okay um you kind of fear that yeah there's a pessimistic energy here you kind of fear that this person is quite pessimistic or people in your environment is pessimistic about this relationship unfolding here um and now this is affecting your ability to come forward here and express how you feel you're also healing because it started to become really toxic for you overthinking about this cancer that's why i kind of feel like time is needed here to get you back in a better mind space so even though even though you're making a decision to release the doubts and the fears, kind of feel like both of you, like I said, are still watching over each other. There's this energy of stalking this week. Um, still being the lookout for the response or the answer from one another, trying to find out the reason or the answers to the why here. Why are you rejecting or why are you moving away? Why are you being silent? Why are you being you know quite avoidant all of that i kind of feel like you're gonna get the clarity that you need okay but it starts first with clear communication because you can think of all these reasons but if you're not talking out with this person um it's all just assumptions and suspicions here okay so that is your reading cancer thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm sending you love and light and namaste